Hello fellow truckers, welcome back. It's been a while, but my name is Billy and this is my channel. So as you may remember the last few episodes, the last few videos, my son and I were stuck out in Idaho for, seems like forever. So we were out there for, I think, sitting for five days. Uh, we came back, it was, it was a mess. It was a mess, it was a mess. Left a bad taste in my mouth. The company was just horrible. I mean, they give you a new truck and everything. But other than that, it was just crap. Just crap. And I know a lot of you guys are dealing with the same stuff. Dispatch this, that. You know, it's just, uh, just so frustrating. Uh, when you're out on the road, you want to be making money, not sitting. For the last couple months, I've kind of sat back and thought, what the hell am I going to do? What the hell am I going to do? And uh, maybe not the best time in the world, but I have decided I'm going to be an owner operator. So in this video, you're going to watch me go pick up my, well, new to me, Peterbilt 579. Uh, I'm just going to head to Montreal, Quebec, but I'm going to get a drive with my buddy Gerard. We're going to head down to Boston, drop off a load, then we're going to head back up to Montreal, pick up my truck. This is a new journey for me, and you guys, well, if you've been here already, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. <sighs> Let's go on an adventure. Hey, Charlie, you look sad. Am I going to go get a truck? Yeah, you're going to be my truck dog. Are you going to be the truck dog? Yeah, yeah, you're going to be the truck dog? You're going to be the truck dog? No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So let's get the lights shut off, and uh, we're going to get on the road. You ready? Let's go. You giving free rides? Imagine. All right. I'm right in. I'm right in. How much? I guess it's the free. The coffee's good that you got. You know what I forgot? I forgot the free coffee tags. <laughs> That's right out here. Oh, I didn't know what you were yelling. All right. So here we go. We're on our way to Boston, boys. And then Montreal. And then Montreal. The Montreal, Quebec. The French community of the Montreal. To get your truck. To get the truck. To get the truck. So. Yeah, this here is uh, Gerard's LT. He loves her. He loves her, but makes me money. That's all that yeah. matters. He likes the big old long nose stuff. So I guess that's his next truck he's gonna get. He's thinking about a W9. All right, look at this. Watch. If I was that age, I'd be humping him. No. He don't care. He's got his phone. He don't want to hump. Look, scared shit. Nope, he don't care. He don't care at all. Alright. There we go. Yeah, so we are in uh, the Maritime Provinces in New Brunswick. You guys uh, down south are complaining about all the uh, smoke and stuff. Well, this is where it's coming from, so. Get over it. Alright. Take another gear here. He's got the new Bluetooth shifter. It's pretty good. They work well. <laughs> Alright, on the road. Alright, so we just got unloaded about 45 minutes ago. Uh, we're here in Boston and uh, Jard's parked over there. I'm just gonna take a stroll around the block, get a little bit of exercise in, grab us a coffee. There's a Dunkin' Donuts down here. And then, uh, because I don't have a login yet, I have to kind of wait until they send me my uh, login for the e-log, or we have to wait till Gerard gets his uh, 10 hour break in. And then we can head to Montreal to pick up the truck, so. Yeah, so this is what we're up to right now. This road looked great for walking on, this is lovely. Wish me luck. Well, there you have it. Yeah, 2020, new to me, Peterbilt 579. Uh, great truck so far. There's a few issues with it after picking it up from the dealership. We got uh, two scalloped tires in the front. 
the alignment must be off a bit. Uh, they said that they take care of that. Um, other than that, seems to be good. The only thing uh, that has to get changed right away is I got to figure out something to uh, run some AC and heat back here. So excuse the mess. I just got up, but yes, this is the Peterbilt 579 Ultra Loft. It is humongous, humongous. Like I can't reach up and touch the, the ceiling. Um, lots of space. You know me, this is where I can do my workouts. Uh, I can definitely lay down here, do some push-ups. Um, I'll get my stepper in here when I get home. Try to get that 10,000 steps in a day. But yeah, this is the truck. We picked it up at Pride Truck Sales in Montreal. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, I was I was thinking about a Kenworth T680, and everybody was saying you gotta you gotta look at the uh, Peterbilt 579. It is amazing how quiet this truck is. It is phenomenally quiet. Other than the vibration from the the tires, it drives so smooth. Even bobtailing, um, I'm I'm so happy with it. The truck does have 690 thousand kilometers on it. Um, two-year warranty, uh, 360,000 kilometers. Um, so it should be pretty good. Should be enough warranty and enough whatnot on there to make some money with this truck uh, and get it paid off in a couple of years. Um, this one has a smart nav. Yeah, so it's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to run in here and I am going to brush my teeth, get all cleaned up, and then get this thing home get it ready to make some money. So there she be. I am still here in Quebec. I am uh, just outside of Quebec City. Beautiful city in the uh, province of Quebec. And uh, yeah, this is where I stopped last night. And yeah, so this is the truck right here. Um, it will need a stripe kit, she's pretty blah. Uh, I plan to do a couple little things to it. We shall see where it goes. But yeah, just the, the shape of the truck, they're a sharp looking truck. And I mean, it's got the, uh, the red oval on it, so. Can't really beat that, can't really beat that. So, yeah, give you guys a quick peek. Quick, quick peek. All right, so what I'm gonna do now so I can get on the road, I'm gonna do my pre-trip, open up the uh, hood, check underneath that, make sure everything's okay. Uh, as you can see, the tires here. It's, it's a weird scallop on them. I'm not sure what the deal is, so. But BF Goodrich all the way around. The rear tires are all, all pretty new. The unfortunate thing, these ones here are, are fairly new too, but uh, yeah, they will have to be replaced. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, there's no problem with pride taking care of that for me right away. Okay, so I'm just getting back in the truck. Just finished up my uh, pre-trip. Uh, I'm probably, sorry about the noise. I'm probably gonna do a few laps around here. I still have a few minutes left. Do some stretches. And uh, you know, that's key to get some movement in when you're on the road. Um, so I'm gonna get that done now and uh, maybe shake my head a little bit wondering what the heck I did uh, buying a truck. Uh, especially with the state of how everything is right now. But you know what? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good time to get in. We don't know. I guess uh, if you play, uh, play everything by, uh, well, maybe I should or I shouldn't or what ifs, you know, you're not gonna get very far in life. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna go get some uh, movement in before I leave, be right back. Nothing like a little bit of greenery to start your day. Yeah. So this is key, guys. If you're living in a truck, you know it's not the greatest lifestyle. But I mean, you could definitely make it better. Uh, get some fresh air. Get on the move. Uh, even if you're a little bit overweight, just walk to the back of the truck a few times a day. And then add more trips every single day until you feel comfortable doing it 
as, mu as much as you want. And if you get a chance to get in nature a little bit, I mean, this isn't really nature. We're on a, in a park on the side of a highway, but at least there's some grass and, and some greenery, some fresh air. So just did my stretches, a little bit of a walk. Uh, now I'm gonna go hit this traffic. So you get a little bit of movement in in the morning and you have some good juices flowing in your brain. Uh, and that'll help. That'll put you in a good mood uh, to get out and deal with the stresses of work. So always a great way to start the day. 7.36 a.m. Uh, now back home. Alright, alright, so after a full day of driving, I am almost home, uh, and what are we at here? So you can see the steering wheel's off to the side a little bit, we got a bit of a vibration, there's some scalloping on the tires, uh, so that's all going to have to get fixed, uh, probably either tomorrow or the next day, and then we'll be able to get this thing out on the road and make some money with it. But overall, I mean, it's pretty quiet. Uh, it drives pretty smooth when there's no vibrations. Uh, it, it's really, really, really nice to drive. In comparison to the last couple Freightliners that I drove, uh, they weren't too bad. Well, one of them wasn't too bad, um, but the one before that was just a piece of junk. So, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, so what I'm coming up to now is is where I live. We got to go across the Great Big Causeway. Uh, and uh, yeah, then it's another 45 minutes and I'm home. So should be home in about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, the wife and the daughter, the daughter has cheerleading tonight. So uh, they won't be home till this evening, till a little bit later, but I'll get home. I'm gonna get these bugs. Don't know if you can see them. Get these bugs off the uh, windshield and uh, uh, I give her a little bit of a clean up. Uh, I have to put my vinyl stickers and decals and whatnot on the DOT numbers and all that stuff tomorrow. Uh, so again, hopefully we can get in in the shop and get on the road as soon as possible. But I won't keep my fingers crossed because as all you guys know, it's pretty tough to get in the shops right now. Um, however, I do live in a pretty small town uh, it does help a little bit because there's not a lot uh, of trucks there as comparison to some of the, the bigger cities and whatnot. So hopefully we can get in. Hopefully we can get in. And then uh, hopefully a couple quick runs. My daughter's got graduation. Yeah, high school graduation next week. So I don't want to go out too, too long. Uh, I'm going to be back for that. She has prom this week, and unfortunately I'm probably going to miss that. Uh, get those pictures taken. Uh, before the prom starts, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, so. But, like I said, overall, this truck, I enjoy it. Minus the beeping. Uh, I'm not that far away from this guy ahead of me, but far enough where it shouldn't really be beeping, but it is. So, hopefully, we can get that stuff shut off when I get to the Peterbilt dealership. But, anyway, gonna head home. There she be, she's all washed, all ready to go. And that's the end of this video, guys. So what I want you to do is please like and subscribe. You're gonna get some more footage of me owner operating this beast uh, throughout the next little while, um, next couple years or whatever. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the journey as will I. So take care. <laughs>